welcome back friends today core java interview question is what is marker interface what is marker interface and what is the purpose of marker interface if we say any interface as a marker interface that interface does not have any method declaration that interface does not have a any method declaration in java there are two popular marker interface one is a clonable interface another one is a serializable interface one is a clonable interface another one is a serializable interface in this example i am using clonable interface when you look at this clonable interface see this clonable interface does not have any method declaration that's the reason we are we are saying this clonable interface is a marker interface then what is the purpose of this clonable interface let's say i want to copy one object using clone method i want to copy one class object using clone method according to our example i am using a customer class inside a customer class i overridden clone method the clone method coming from object class this clone method coming from object class i am overriding that clone method inside a customer class i want to copy customer object using this clone method i want to copy this customer object using clone method whenever i create a customer object i want to copy that customer object using clone method if you want to copy any java object using clone method that respective class must implements with clonable interface that respective class must implement with clonable interface okay here deep copy here i am using a deep copy class this actually this deep, deep copy classes are used to explain deep copy example okay um, when i uh, teach about deep deep copy example i use this class i am using the same class now okay i i commented out unwanted code here line number 7 i am creating a customer one object and passing a 10 value so customer 1.a when you say customer 1.a the 10 will print now i want to copy this customer 1. object customer 1 object sorry i want to copy this customer 1 object using clone method here i am saying customer 1. clone whenever you say customer 1. clone our java runtime environment check that this respective class whether implements with clonable interface or not since our customer class implements with clonable interface our java runtime environment allowing to copy customer one object using clone method using clone method again i am explaining whenever you call clone method from the particular object our java runtime environment check that that respective class whether implements with clonable interface or not if implements with clonable interface our jari allowing to copy using clone method according to our example we have implements implements with clonable interface so jari allowing to copy customer one object using clone method okay now i'll going to run this program let's see what's happening so this is a happy path i am able to copy here customer 1.a 10 is printing here customer 2.a 10 is printing whenever you customer 1. clone customer 1 copy assign to customer 2 here i mean I, here i am trying to print customer 2.a it's printing 10 here i am able to copy perfectly using clone method now i'll going to remove this statement now this customer class does not have implements with clonable interface right now i'm going to copy sorry now i'm going to call clone method that is i'm trying to copy customer one object using clone method let's see what's happening this time you are not able to copy instead our java runtime environment return clone not supported exception why because this customer one respective class 
does not implement with clonable interface. That's the reason our Java runtime environment not allowing to copy customer own object using clone method. Okay. I hope you understand what is the purpose of marker interface. What is the purpose of marker interface? Marker interface act as a flag variable. Based on that interface, our Java runtime environment decide whether we can do this operation or not. In our example, we are using clonable interface. This clonable interface act as a flag variable for Java runtime environment. If clonable interface implements with customer object, customer class, our Java runtime environment allowing to copy customer object using clone method. If customer object does not implements with clonable interface, our Java runtime environment not allowing to copy customer object using clone method. Instead, it throw the exception. That's the reason I am saying marker interface act as a flag variable. I hope you understand what is the purpose of marker interface. Okay guys, I am signing off this video session. In the next video, I will going to uh, explain another marker interface called a serializable. How to use serializable marker interface. Okay, until then, bye bye from Suresh.